Hi guys, welcome back to Awake Am. I'm filming from my car this afternoon after a lovely day of cleaning and gardening. I'm about to attempt to be even more productive and do an Aldi grocery haul before I pick Bella up from school. Firstly, because she doesn't really like going shopping and when she does come shopping, it costs me quite a bit more. So we don't want that. <laughs> I've been on a Herbalife diet for a couple of weeks now, so I want to show you some of the high protein meals and snack options that I've been able to pick up from Aldi recently, and also show you how I managed to create meals that the girls will like too, without having to cook lots of different types of foods. I should be able to pick up everything that I want because it's normally quiet this time of day. There's normally quite a bit of shelf stacking going on, and not too many people around, which I like, and is good because I don't want to be late for Bella. So off we go. I haven't picked up too much fruit and veg this week. I'd like to have my meals as fresh as possible. What I'm also finding is now that Lizzie's left school, she's spending a lot of time out with friends, so she'll have meals out. And I'm binning quite a bit more than I usually do. So yeah, this week, this should be enough for a few days. And if I need anything else, I can pick it up on my way home from work or when I drop Bella off at school from quite a few different places. I've got some spinach, which I put in quite a few dishes, and as you know, spinach doesn't go too far when you cook it. A small bag of carrots, some green beans, spring onions, cucumber, some peaches, A sweet potato, iceberg lettuce, one of our staples, <laughs> a red pepper, some stir fry veg with a sweet chilli stir fry sauce. Lydia will be having this, she loves sweet chilli sauce. And fruits have got some wonky grapes, some easy peelers and some mini pears. And then for Belle's pack lunch, some apple and grape snack packs. I've only bought two because she has been having school meals a couple of days a week. I wouldn't say it's by choice. I've been letting her know that she will be having them because she's been coming home with a pack lunch bag pretty much full of lunch food. I've spoken to the school about this, obviously, but I'm still having waste from it every single day. So to try and mix things up a little bit and hopefully get it eaten... I've put it onto school dinners, yeah. Some lentil bites for Lydia. These have become one of her favourites. They were originally something I bought for myself, but now that I'm on this Herbalife diet, they're not something I can really be snacking on. 
Lizzie is pleased. <laughs> I've got some smooth tomato pasta sauce for Bella. Again, I can try pasta in a pack lunch. She quite likes this. I mix it up sometimes by giving a pesto pasta, but both girls like this for lunch or a main meal. I've got some mixed beans just for added protein. I can add these to quite a few different meals really and salads. Some gravy for Bella. She loves gravy. To be honest, although she doesn't eat much at school, she makes up for it when she comes home. So she'll want a snack and then she'll want to eat a full evening meal. The full works, meat, potatoes, gravy, veg. I think she'd have a roast dinner every night if she could. So I don't worry too much. It's just a bit frustrating when I'm bin and pack lunch foods and likely, well, from what she tells me, um, wasting money on school lunches because she quite often says she doesn't like the school lunches. I've got some Kinder cards for Bella for snacks and some Kinder chocolate bars, some marshmallow chunks for an attempt at breakfast for Bella. Got Lydia these peanut butter Reese cups just as a little treat and some millions strawberry sweets for Bella again as a treat. Some basmati rice for the girls meals and a long grain rice which Lydia will probably use for a lunch one day. Some medium egg noodles instead of buying the fresh ones to go along with my stir fry kit and sauce. I've got these dried ones because Lydia says the fresh ones end up quite soggy whereas these cook along quite nicely. I've got some pasta to go with my sauces. From the bakery I've got this thick soft white bread. I can't eat bread on my Herbalife diet but my boyfriend loves the thickest white bread he can get his hands on so he should be happy with this. He also loves these ring donuts. By the way, most of the unhealthiest of foods are normally his. I don't know where he puts it. He's not overweight or anything like that. Not fair. <laughs> these were on offer. These char grilled tortilla wraps. I just thought they looked nice and like a bit of a change. Maybe these lent high Bella to eat a ham wrap. We'll see. Some sandwich thins for Lydia's lunches and sometimes she'll toast them for breakfast. These kebab wraps, I've had these before and they're so nice. The girls will be having these as part of a meal whilst I just have salads. <laughs> what did I say? The most unhealthy of foods are for my boyfriend, <laughs> including this quarter pounder with cheese. Just nice and easy for him uh, for lunch or even to take him to work. Some chocolate pots for Bella. And then some caramel ones for Lydia, but they tend to share these. Some yogurts for my boyfriend. And then for myself, I thought I'd try this new vanilla protein pudding. It, to be honest, it looks a bit like custard, which is why I got the vanilla flavour. I'm looking forward to trying that. And it's got 20 grams of protein. This is about, well, over a quarter of what I'm aiming to have each day. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. I've had these before, these granola pots. Again, I am a bit boring. I've gone for vanilla, 21 grams of protein per pot. These really do make you feel very full for quite a long time. But I don't have them every day. On my Herbalife diet, I can have two snacks a day. I don't have a yoghurt more than a couple of times a week. So what I have been doing on my Herbalife diet is picking up a couple of convenience meals, so ready-made meals from wherever I've been shopping. And I've come across these today. These balanced boxes, chicken teriyaki and noodles. In each pack, you've got lots of protein and the low in calories. Really handy to take into work if I decide to have my main meal at work or if I'm in a rush at night, I can just throw these in the microwave. I've got this beef and three bean chilli one as well with, again, plenty of protein and not a lot of calories from the main meal. I can also put a bit of salad with these as well, just to bulk them up a little bit. I'll probably have some of my stir-fry salad left over uh, to have with the chicken teriyaki noodles as well. I've got some soft cheese, which I can have 
as part of my snacks on the Herbalife diet with a bit of veg and some pepper armies or copies of them for Bella, some ham for sandwiches, some hummus for me to go along with these chicken skewers which are high in protein, low in calories. I could either have a full pack with some salads and hummus for my main meal or I could have half a pack with hummus as one of my two snacks a day. Flora buttery. Now I'm so glad that Aldi now sell this because it is my favourite of all spreads. Not that I can have any right now but the girls like it too. For a meal one night to go along with our beef kebab wraps. I've got these barbecue beef kebabs. I've had these before when I've had barbecues in previous years. Different ones from Aldi with different seasons on lamb, pork, beef and they're always really tasty. These ones are only 5% fat as well which is really good for my diet. I'll just have these with some salad. And then finally I've got some chicken breast mini fillets. Quite a large pack so this should cover two meals for myself and the girls. I've got more frozen food than I normally do. Some tempura chicken strips which is something I buy quite often to have as a snack. Well for the girls to have as a snack in this case. Or on a wrap as a lunch or with rice. There's so much you can do with them. Lydia asked for some hash browns. A bit random but fine. She's having lions since leaving school and also quite late breakfast so i'm sure this is just to add to a late breakfast <laughs> some pop and chicken again can add to meals lydia likes to make a dish called salt and pepper chicken which is basically some salt and pepper seasoning like chinese style with onions and peppers and rice and normally breaded or battered chicken so I thought these would be handy just to throw in a dish. Lydia's having a friend sleeping over tonight so I've picked up a couple of pizzas for her, a meat feast one and a double pepperoni deep pan which is a favourite and also as a treat because she's decided she loves halloumi now I've picked up these fries for her. These were quite a bit more expensive when I checked them out in Asda a few weeks ago and the pack was about half the size so I was pleased to see these and hopefully she likes them. Some Yorkshire puddings for Bella to go along with her daily roast dinners. <laughs> I'm joking, I do mix things up. I don't let her have a roast dinner every day. Bought some peas. Has to be bird's eye for her. She can tell the difference. So, and to be fair, I can as well. Some peas for Bella's um, roast dinners and also for my lunches or to add to some meals again, just to bulk them up a little bit. For Lydia's sleepover tonight, some garlic baguettes and some fizzy drinks. Now, myself and the girls have never been big on fizzy drinks. I was never brought up with them. My girls haven't been. But as a treat, you know, when they're having a sleepover or a party, these are absolutely fine. And these are really good value as well. From toiletries and cleaning, not too much. I've got some deodorant for my boyfriend for when he's here. Just handy to have in. Some panty liners for myself and some towels for Lydia. I have Asta how these are compared to say always or the main brands and she said they're absolutely fine but i just get a, a couple of packs in different sizes they are easily a third cheaper than the other brands so it is good to know that these work well the panty liners work just as well for me as well some biodegradable surface wipes just handy to have in with me dogs some knitted dishcloths I'll actually use these ones for around the kitchen and then I have some bigger ones in a different colour thread for cleaning around the house. I just found that these are really handy. You can just wash them and reuse them. Some baby wipes, again, for my puppies who are like babies and some chew bones for them as well, which will last them quite a while and give me a bit of peace. <laughs> We'll have Chinese chicken stir fry with sweet chilli stir fry sauce and the girls will have noodles with theirs. I'll just be having plenty of veg. We'll have beef kebabs with salad and sweet corn. The girls will have wraps. I'll just have a little bit of hummus on the side of mine. 
forgot to mention these mango glazed chicken skewers before, they look really nice. I'll have mine with salad and the girls will have some rice as well. You've seen this one before, it's my nan's recipe for carrot and lentil and ham soup. I'll need to pick some ham up from your local butchers. I'm going to make a spinach and chickpea curry. I'll have mine with sweet potato and the girls will have cauliflower rice with theirs. Whilst the girls are having sleepovers and pizza and snacks or eating out, I'll have either of these meals with some salad on the side. So I know that ready meals aren't the best, but these are some of the better ones I'd say, with less fat, sugar and salt in. And they just give me two nights of little or no cooking, no dishes when the girls aren't here, and I'm all for that. Trying to avoid mess and dishes is honestly why i used to indulge so much in takeaways these are far better than takeaways this shop cost me 80 pounds and 10 pence so 10 pence over budget i can deal with i don't think going forward i'm gonna need a budget as high as 80 pounds a week not for the next few weeks anyway when as i've said before lydia's out and about more with friends and if she's going to stay with her dad for a few weeks since i began my cash shopping journey I've had a pretty healthy budget every week, which is unusual for me because before I started my journey, I'd go on a big binge shopping spree when I got paid, buy whatever I felt like, and then for the next three, four, however many weeks it was until the next payday, I'd struggle. So what it did teach me is that I can live on a budget and I think I should make the most of the next few weeks going away and not having Lydia here as much and really try to cut back on my grocery spending. I hope you enjoyed coming along to Aldi with me and seeing what things are bought. If you did, let me know by giving me a like or by sharing your thoughts in the comments. Click on the bell and subscribe button so you don't miss future videos like this. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.